Hi, I'm Melissa Casacchino coming to you from the Bronx, New York. And I'm going to talk to you about my novel, Carmen and Grace, which is out in April 2023. And without getting too much into time leaps and spoilers, um, I want to introduce you to Carmen and Grace, two cousins who have been more like sisters, who've really clung to each other through a very difficult childhood. And we begin with Carmen reflecting on the trouble that they got themselves into and how she will now have to manage a life um, beyond the definitions that Grace offered. Um, but where we really begin the story, we can think about it structurally, kind of like the cycle of the moon. Um, it's their rise to power. It's how the woman who had protected them and sort of lured them into this underground drug trade, um, but really taken care of them, guided them, and helped them grow into competent women, um, is mysteriously killed. And this kind of sends Carmen and Grace off into two directions where um, they are both imagining out and Carmen imagines out as a complete escape from this life that they've built and Grace imagines out as getting out from under the danger of Toro who is the son of the woman that they lived with and who really brought her into the fold. From Carmen's perspective, we get their rise to power as a group of uh, grown young women who enter into places where they don't belong, selling drugs in the most dangerous of places, Wall Street, banks, the suburbs, places that really take them out of their comfort zones, but also allow them a massive expansion. And what we get from Grace's perspective is their childhood and their early youth and how they found themselves in such vulnerable places that um, what Doña Durca and Toro offered seemed like a real solution to the problems that they had in their early teens. And we follow them throughout a trajectory where Carmen is hiding a secret pregnancy and Grace is really trying to consolidate power so that she can now be the one who protects them the way Doña Durca once protected them. And at the heart of it, um, you really have this question of can they escape together? Can they, though they are trying to move towards out in separate directions, really find a way to survive and um, escape in ways that they have imagined um, without losing each other?